been the difference and Perpetua just relentless still on the glass getting offensive rebounds All right. fourth quarter payoff period of this round two matchup between the Alcas and the Ooh. Pirates wow. and that's not how you want to start if you're LPU careless mistake there for Versosa and Moralejo Backward violation. Unforced turnover, you know? Oh. Binalik ni Brizosa. Yeah, you can do that. Ah, yeah. Nakatawit niya siya. So, si Coach Gilbert, second infraction, second warning, will result to a technical foul. Yeah, that was a strange play. Oh. So automatically, yeah, Moralejo was clearly still behind the line. And Karina was a warning of Coach Gilbert. So now he has complained of So it's not technical. So 64-59. Oh, sinisigurado lang uh, ng mga opisyalis natin dito. But it was clear na nakalagpas na itong Fever Sosa sa half. Yeah. Oh, so... Final in tower. Number 24. Oh. Jonathan Dailig. Ah, hindi. Si Dailig yung tatawagan. For second impression of the layup game. Oh. Okay, so it's not on Coach Gilbert, yeah. it's on Dailig oh. on the delay of game. Montemayor shooting the technical free throw and connecting. So Perpetual will open the fourth with a plus one, six point lead. Rojo Cruz. He's been a part man today. Good play. He has the basketball though. Oh. Three to shoot. They need to take. Oh, what a win. Oh, what a win. Oh, what a win. Oh, what Chris Pagaran. Meantime, let's go back to our court side reporter with a fourth quarter update. Nandito, si Mikai Mindanao. Mikai. Martin and Prince, alam naman natin, nagutom, nagutom sa panalo ang parehong kopanan. But in a, in a tight game like this, it's a question of who wants it more. Ang paalala lang naman ni Coach Gilbert Malabanan during the huddle ay dapat magkaroon ng maayos na communication sa defense. Hindi enough na nakakascore, pero kailangan din nilang makastop para naman sa kopanan ni Coach Olsen Rosella. Kahit may kita niyang gumagana ang system para sa team, hindi pwede mag-relax dahil papasok na sila sa crucial quarter. And as I mentioned kanina, this quarter would decide and answer the question of who wants it more. Abangan natin how both teams will do in this fourth quarter. Martin and Print. Thank you, Mikai. Well, unayin muna natin to Perpetual because they've had a few heartbreaks in the fourth quarter here in Season 100, including a game against LPU in the first round. Oh. So they're hoping that they've already learned from those mistakes. Yeah, and I agree with Coach Olsen. Kahit na nag-work yung system nila, ang ganda mong pasahan nila, kailangan din sila mag-relax knowing that ayun yung naging struggle nila. Pagdating sa dulo, medyo buhibigay sila. They played very well in this one. Villegas of the back iron. So we trade shot clock violations on both sides. Para dito sa LPU Pirates. Well, we've seen this team. This team you cannot count out. Dahil alam natin ang resilience of energy ng team ni Coach Gilbert Malabanan. At usually, ganto, if they are within striking distance, they find ways to stick around at kapitan yung kalaban. Totoo. 
And you have to watch out for Barba kasi usually siya yung nagsistart ng office ang Lyceum eh pagdating sa front time eh. Barba and Guadagna are both back for LPU. Oh, oh, good block. Vezosa with a rejection. Dahilig. Barba, Barba, Barba for three. No. Guadagna offensive board. Open. Panig sa kanya. Maklod. Maklod. Oh. Dribbling that one off his foot. Yeah, to mama sa paa, pag dribble ni McLeod. Look at this, Abyss meeting. Wow. Or met by Brizosa up top. Climbing the stairs. I don't see JM Brizosa. Who goes back to the bench of LPU. Avires is in the game with the three personal fouls. Montemayor. Send it out. Pagalan pulls the trigger. Off the bat, iron as well. Another offensive rebound. What a drag down by Pizarro. Here's Abyss. Pull up in the lane. Ooh, yes. What a shot. John Abyss. John Abyss now with 12. Moving like a guard there to the Abyss. Kaileg thought about it. Biggest lead now. Oh, no. Just down eight points. Guadagna driving right. And Some it's going to be a foul, yeah? On Perpetual. Perpetual able to tie the largest lead with this basket. You know? From Guadagna. Wala sa kanto, nasa free throw line. John Abyss, another 12 points. Here's the trigger by Moranejo. Covered by a longer defender in Pagaran, so Ooh. the spray to the Ilek. Oh, Alejo for three. Short. Hold on. <laughs> Good yes. sell for Abyss. So, si John Abyss ang tatawagan. Only the second foul of Abyss. But if you're LPU Prince, they have to approach this with more sense of oh, urgency. Yeah. They have to be more aggressive offensively and they have to get stopped. Yeah. And don't forget about boxing out. Because yeah. they are going offensive rebounds. Eh. Exactly. Guadagna, step, step back, back three. Tough shot. It stays with LPU for Petwal contesting this. So it's gonna be Alta's basketball. Mm, yeah. It was off of Vilas. Good reversal by our officials. JP Boran, but it's adding Laban. Fresh off the bench. 17 points. Oh. Careless turnover there. Balikan bola sa LPU. Credit uh, pressure by you. Na. Bumagana na. Uh -oh. Barba. Spray. Kaileg had Two. all day. No. Barba offensive board. No block yata ni Pagaran yung shot ni Dailig. Yeah, it was deflected by Pagaran. Inabutan, ano? So five to shoot. Zone defense for Perpetual. Moralejo the trigger. Aviles. Three seconds left. Needs to take. He will make Ooh, his no move. Oh, no foul call. And Perpetual gets the stop. Oh, that was a clean beat. Goho Cruz. Against Guadagna. Rookie versus veteran. And Guadagna and Goho Cruz. Moral. Beautiful lead. Oh, pass is picked off. They have the numbers. Got Two on one. Good pass. Barba with a finish. Good Barba. Fifteen for Ato. Yep. And kahit mahalat si Godan niya ngayon, he's been dishing out really well. Three assists na siya ngayon. Abyss. This might go home, Bruce. Struggling so far, oh, yeah. he will force it. No, Pizarro, another follow-up for Perpetual. 
And this comes with a continuation. And the engine again problem on the field now, an offensive rebound from Perpetual. Wow, last minute find there for Godania. Oh, Cruz just throwing that one up. Pizarro making the catch. And Emmanuel Pizarro, six rebounds. He was having Laban Apat Don, offensive rebound. Oh. And as a team, Perpetual has 17 offensive boards. Dailek saw the crack. Barba, Panekaida, Ilek for three. Ooh, he knocks it turn. down. Always here with the Ilek from fourth quarter. Lucky siya nakakapag contribute. And time timely rin eh. Yeah. Timely rin yung mga baskets niya. That three. Cuts down the deficit to five. Pizarro. There's a foul underneath. For LPU, that's their third team foul already. Jonathan Dailig. Left foot space. Sure. Bottom on the jumper. 64-69. This is shaping up to be... Exciting game. Mismatch. Mismatch yun, yeah. Goho Cruz. Ilalapit. Wala pa rin. Ball is stopped outside. For Pedwal. Grabe yung discard nila dito sa offensive class. Ready to shoot. Abyss has for Zosa. Abyss will make his move. Oh, offensive charging. foul on Abyss. Crucial call there. I think it was called when he used his left arm to go around Rizosa. Yun yung kape. Inok niya. Third foul on Abyss. LPU has a chance yeah. to inch closer. Rens Villegas. Gonna execute here now. Barba the long three. George. Kapus. And this is Axel Manuel collecting the board. Pizarro on top. Pizarro almost lost it. The pressure. Give and go. Oh, Eman Pizarro with the left hand. See, he's going to be Pizarro. He knows how to read the defense. Alaga. Good give and go play there. The lead is back up to seven. 25 wow. assists for Perpetual already. Guadagna off to the left that time. Brizosa getting Daile. into the mix. Daile, Ooh, that one rims yeah, out. Nice. And there is a whistle. Pang apat na team foul to against Perpetual. Oh, Let's see this play. Nakita niya kasi pinipressure na siya ni Brizosa. So binigay niya and then he outspreaded him. Nice play coming from Emmett Pizarro. Big to big sequence there for Perpetual. Oh, are you completed by the Ilig of the inbound? Now, Mulas LPU will cut the deficit. Back down to five with timeout. They go to. The road to the Final Four is about to get even more dangerous as teams are now fighting for survival. So, before we move forward, let's take a look back at the amazing exploits of our hardcore heroes here in our Week in Review. Last October 11th, it's another a steal. Wow. The way. A sluggish Letran Knights team opened their second game. You guys are watching LPU versus Perpetual for our resumption of NCAA Season 100 live right now on Heart of Asia everywhere online. You guys can find us on NCAA Philippines and GMA Sports PH. We're not yet done though. This is only our first offering on our Saturday doubleheader. Next up, we have JRU versus Letran. Should be a good game as well. Letran holding on to that number four spot in the team standings at 7 and 6. 
They want to create some separation against LPU. And LPU needs to take care of business here if they want to hang around as well. Ooh. Nice break coming from Perpetual. Easily breaking that press. Manuel. Manuel driving. Abyss floats it. Too strong. It stays with Perpetual. Kailangan pag ganito, collective effort na sila pagdating sa rebounding kasi nahihirapan na talaga sila. So, Coach Gilbert will ask for a review. Sabi ni Versosa, kumpiyansa siya doon. Uh, yeah. yeah, it looked like they had the case. Possible. Si Manuel yata yung yeah. last touch doon. So, our officials will review this. Tignan natin ito. Initially, it was... Oh. Oh, okay, from that angle, it looked very close. Okay. Oh, it stays uh, with Perpetual. A final game, head coach challenge of the Pirates, unsuccessful. So Long both teams will have a challenge. Pero if it's under two minutes, automatic is a review. Yeah. Yeah. Only four minutes. Left. Mandara. Mandara and off the catch. No. Another rebound. Again. Again, we leave an asshole soul to the NPU Pirates. The offensive rebounding of this perpetual team. It's been giving them life offensively. 20 offensive rebounds now. Oh, look at the disparity for getting the rebounds, Prince. 50 to 30 in favor of perpetual. Any offensive rebound, 20 to 11. Yeah. But JP Boral misses on the first. He is now one out of three from the line today. Don't you know struggle here? The free throw. This is a three points for of six. Yeah, 17 points. Only three points here in the second half for JP Boral. One out of two. Six point game. Barba. So Barba saw the space. Oh, unable Look. to connect. Versosa with Versosa. the over. Oh, oh, Barba coming out of nowhere. Spray. Maclod di discarte. Five to shoot. Ato. Long three. No. Wala pa rin. And for that one. We look to maintain the lead and create some separation here. Look at how steady Goho Cruz is. Guys, the pressure siya. As a rookie, that's really big. Yeah. And that's been a big change for Perpetual. On the roll, Jericho Nunez is fouled. I think that's been the difference for uh, Perpetual. It's Goho Cruz fully embracing that point guard group. At least today, oh. yung ginagawa niya dito. And your leadership role. Because siyempre, if you're a point guard, you're also the leader eh, yeah. inside the court. And as a rookie, kitang-kita na ang dami na niyang responsibilities niyan. So Jericho Nunez has struggled from the line ever since the perfect oh, start. Oh, wow. Nunez. Now 5 out of 9. After being 5 of 5, missed 4 straight. Man. Nine points, five rebounds. He's been solid today at the center spot. Very One out good. of two. Back to a seven point lead. This has been the theme of the fourth quarter so far. LPU unable to get closer. Just not able to manufacture enough offense into Pirates. We'll see if it'll change here. Villegas, Guadagna, step back three, got it! Big time triple from Maclod Guadagna. Big, big shot. 
and forced to turn over. Here Garda comes the field. Garda all the way. Two point yeah. game. Oh. Five point swing for LPU. Ayan na yung run na sinasabi natin, Marte Salaisio. Perpetual, facing pressure. Pagaran drive, scoops Ooh. to the left. Oh, Off the bank for Pagaran. Top finish for Pagaran. 30 now for Chris. Oh, it's oh. a foul. Villegas drew the contact. But how about it to you? This is how quickly they can put up some points. Danya nailing it from the outside. His second <laughs> triple of the game. Off 11 attempts. And the pressure paid off for LPU. Ato Baida winning the foot race. And getting them the two points. Pagaran driving, slicing, and scooping it off the win Ooh. window to answer for Perpetual. Crucial miss. Oh, oh. very important. To. These are the first two attempts for Renz Villegas at the free throw line. Chaka 9 of 17 ng Lyceum ngayon sa free throw, so sobrang mababa yun. One out of two for Renz. One possession game. As we approach. Oh, deep water territory. We are inside the final two minutes, and the pressure of LPU causing oh, some panic on the side of Perpetual. Pangalawang uh, oh. turnover, galing sa pressure ng LPU. Jan din matetes si Goho Cruz uh, yeah. sa mga gantong uh, crunch time pressure. So he really has to hold his own. Look at this. Track down. Last touch. Either against Manuel or Villegas. Let's see from. Well, parang mas mahirap no. no. <laughs> so. Si Coach O immediately asked for, for the review. We're inside the, the last two minutes, so. They, they can request for that. Natin. Crucial decision coming up. They're trying to adjudicate this. Ito na, yung decision. It's gonna be perpetual ball. Last touch on Lorenz Villegas. So not quite a turnover for perpetual. As they maintain possession. Warning on a perpetual health offense for improper bench department. Now warning and then it's bench the perpetual. 75-72. Manuel to inbound. Boral. Boral is the penalty. Yeah. Pangaran on court. Too strong. Boral oh, gets him another ball. crack at it. Another offensive board for perpetual. Oh, agree such a shot clock. But for that one, not one violation. Unable to take advantage of the second serving. So LPU gets the possession, and it will come after this timeout. Hey, kasama natin ngayon ang ating best player of the game scoring 14 points and pulling down six rebounds and dito si Harvey thank you, thank you, thank Pagsanhan you. thank you thank you okay Harvey first off congratulations thank you thank you okay diba dito nyo pag dumating lang si Harvey nanalo na yung uh, EAC against San Beda Harvey una masasabi mo sa panalong to ikaw ba were you aware since you just arrived this is your first season in the NCAA aware ka ba na hindi pa nakaka Inside the Finoy Egg Oil Center. Crunch time situation. And this game between LPU and Perpetual, these two teams separated by a three pointer. 1.39 to go. LPU will have it. 
And okay. previously, nakakuha ng, ng perpetual yung offensive rebound. Yun nga lang, hindi sila nakamanufacture ng shot. Tingnan natin kung saan pupunta ngayon ng Lyceum. If they set up a play for a three-point shot yes. or quick two muna. 14 seconds on the shot clock. Their two main scorers today have been Villegas and Barba. A combined 35 points between those two guys. Pero si Villegas yung mag inbound Getting it safely to Brezosa. Renz attacks down the middle. Kinapos lang sa layup. But Rebetwa lost it on the rebound. Hindi na-control ni Nunez yung rebound. Nabitawan niya. Top break for Rebetwa. And top break for Lyceum. Because wide open yun si Villega. Sayang lang. That was great recognition. Coming from Renz. Seeing the crack right in the middle of Perpetual's defense. Another opportunity now for Lyceu. Press 14. Aklod. Barba. 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 Ooh, for the tie. Open. Short. And rebound. Goes to Pagaran quickly to Goho Cruz here. Perpetual can make it a two-possession game with a basket. No need to foul here. Both teams in the penalty. Nunez. Goho Cruz. Goho Cruz. Go Cruz. Cruz. Off the glass. Oh, the rookie delivers. No timeout. Only the second field goal for Goho Cruz. Under a minute left. Guadagna will back up. Guadagna off oh, the street. Oh, what a block. Denied. Villegas for three. Villegas. Yes. Woo! Two points. 21 for Renz. And here's the pressure. Oh, oh turnover. Committed by Goho Cruz. 34.8 seconds remaining. Goho Cruz slow to get up. Abini goes always in. Tuloy lang, tuloy lang. 75-77. Hato Barba, Vince Villegas was the one who made the triple earlier for the tie. No! And Perpetua gets it. Three second differential between the clocks. No need to foul, but another turnover on Perpetua. Wow. This one is on Nunez. Called for a walk, which Olsen is livid yeah. here. Could not believe the call. 18 and change remaining. This was the errand pass by Goho Cruz. Walang tumanggap. And this was the travel. One, two, uh -huh. uh. Dalawang ikot mula dito kay Nunez. Hmm. Man, what a... Kailangan mas maling compose ng perpetual ngayon. Back-to-back turnover. Yeah. And this is Coach Olsen trying to inject some life into yeah. Goho Cruz who was down earlier. Uh, Sabi niya next play, yeah. ituloy lang. And that's, that should be the right attitude. So we are currently inside the final timeout. Netong uh, LPU Pirates. While Perpetual, if they get the ball back, they'll still have a couple. But both teams are already in the penalty. LPU, Prince, yeah. fresh 14 here. They don't need to go for a three pointer. Oh, hindi talaga. They're just down by two. So they just have to tie the game. Or if open, why not take the lead? We have two guys who can do it. Villegas and Barda with 21 and 17 respectively. Yeah. Or take it strong to the basket since yeah. penalty naman yung pareha, pareha sa team. So Villegas to trigger this one in. Dahil eh. 
Watson, Watson. Barba. That is it. it. For the lead. No. no. And FPU went for the Ooh. three. That's crucial. They need to play the foul game now for LSU. So Coach O. Manini Gurabi Dito. I'm not sure if that was really the play for Lyceum. Para nagkalituhan niya ata sila. And Coach Gilbert is really frustrated right now. Yeah, that was a missed chance. Di ata na-execute mabuti yung play ng Dinero. Yeah, team schedule ng Perpetual Alcas. It's been a tough second round for them. Losing three of the first four games here in the second round. They have, wow, the Benil Blazers yeah. up next on October 30. Yeah, so very important yung panalan nila dito. Yeah. And then Mapuwa after Benil. Oh. One and two. It's tough schedule for Perpetual. Wow. But they have an opportunity to steal one against LPU right here. Now, yeah. The Pirates unable to execute. At least to their liking. Right there. Yeah, but it's not over. They just need to get a stop, okay. force the five seconds violation, or quick fall. So one timeout remaining for Perpetual. LPU, one timeout. Both teams send a penalty yeah. with 9.7 seconds left. LPU, if they don't get the steal, foul. we expect them to immediately foul. And Perpetuals at 15 of 27 so free throws. So, medyo mababa. Kailangan mo lang piliin yung iba foul mo rin. Oo, oh, um, sino. Lunas is in. Uh, he's been struggling. So, let's see. Oh! oh, a steal! Guadagna has it! McLeod attacks! Guadagna. That Very in late. for the lead! Oh! Yeah! Is that a three-pointer? 17th lead change of the game. And it's from LPU's rookie, Jonathan Dailig. How about the takeaway here? Telegraph by Maclod Guadagna. Good B for Guadagna. And how about the execution? Attacking, finding the open guy. Was that a three-pointer? Was he behind? Oh, oh, yeah. From that angle, so from Love it. That e leg with a go ahead triple. At least now it's a triple. Yeah. <laughs> see, see, is you zoom in pa to na mga officialis natin. So from Love it noon. And kailang na ibang angle. Yeah. Para mahita if stepping siya. What a play for Lacey yeah. getting that stop. Yeah. We're talking about their resilience. And this is this has been the theme for Perpetual in yeah. the last two minutes. Diba? Talagang rattled sila oh. sa full court pressure ng LPU. Even at the half court mm. press yeah. there. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so. Same angle though. Yan natin. Up, up. Ito, yeah, that's a good position. <laughs> ah, kasi pag tiptoe niya. Oh, nung pag elevate kung paan niya, yun, tiptoe niya, tumapak na. Tumapak na. So, Pero, ano yung call? Ito na. We have a correction on the floor. Oh, oh. the last field goal. Converted by number 24, so Jonathan Dailin. We don't have an Upon interview. Review, one, a two we have our seventh. Oh. 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 Seven for they the deemed that one a long two. 77 all. Game winning opportunity for Perpetual. One more chance for the Altas. 1.8 seconds. Who are they going to? Abyss to trigger. Trying to find Nunez, Nunez, what a win! win. win. Oh. And we yeah. go to overtime. Our return to action. This game is Back from oh. two days off. 
It immediately goes to OT. 77 all. Babalik po kami dito sa NCAA Season 100. First month sa amin, ano, madami kami off-season tournaments, uh, training outside of the country, mga two times, Japan and uh, Indonesia. So, nakakatulong yun sa off-the-court bonding namin and sa gelling ng team and it helps a lot. And I think prepared na kami para this season 100. Sobrang sakit nun eh. Kasi finishing first sa elimination tapos talo sa championship. Tapos parang one game away na lang kami para makuha yung championship. Dalawang sunod pa na talo. Siyempre, uh, masakit. At uh, uh, one win away na lang para dun sa matagal namin nintay na championship. Pero sabi ko nga, kailangan namin mag-move on eh. Kasi ito, nabigyan ulit ng chance season 100. Back for more. Ito po sa Philoil Echo Oil Center. Martin Avier, Prince Carlos. Taking you through the coverage over time here in our first game between LPU and Perpetual. Magic number for us is seven. seven. 77 all, seventh deadlock yeah. of the game. Pangalawang sunod na overtime ni Prince Carlos. Oh nga, seven straight. This should be good. LPU versus Perpetual. We need five more minutes to determine the outcome. Here we go. Overtime begins. LPU ending that fourth quarter. So third over count big nothing. Perpetual is up to 21. A few of those came in the final two minutes. Marba. Oh, travel. Hog for a walk. So, balik ang bola sa perpetual. In 21 points na yun, converted oh. to, or 21 turnovers, converted to 17 that was points big. of turnovers. Yeah, that was big sa comeback na may CEO. Yeah. So, here comes perpetual. And this uh, is, dun sa final two minutes natin, that's when they actually miss Sean Orgo. Oh, his stability at yeah. the point. Very important talaga magkaroon ng steady point guard sa isang team eh. Para pagdating sa mga pressure, yeah. eh, mga makakaya niya. On your screens, JM Bravo. Bravo. Unclear Bravo. if and when he'll be able to return for uh, LPU. If you're, an, yeah, if you're an NCAA fan, you want a full recovery. Oh, I'm, just really glad, I'm just really glad that he's better now. Naka-recover yeah. na si JM Bravo. Uh, Jerry Nunez, he was the one who took the final attempt in regulation, heading back to the free throw line, where he has made a living. Nunez, 7 out of 12 from the line. 11 puntos para kay Nunez ngayong araw na to. Another one. Spits it again. Another for offensive round. rebound. This is the 23rd offensive board for Perpetual. JP Bural. Go, Go Cruz. Cruz. No. Off the back iron. Another one for Perpetual. Nunez open. Up. 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 Nunez. That's a three-point swing for the Perpetual Altas. Kaya dito malalaman na namimiss nila yung service ni JM Bravo. Dalawala silang masyadong solid big to get those rebounds. All air for McLeod. He Speaking drops rebounds, it down though. Like... They need to move quickly. That oh, in a drive. So Ooh. Met by Nunez. And that's a whistle. Nunez commits the foul. Hard collision against the Ilig. Look at this. So he really left the Ilig winded. Oh, yeah, put that out in here. I'm having courtside reporter. I'm going to see Mikai Nidao. Mikai, 
more than it prints, it all comes down to this final minute. Sabi naman sa kanila ni Coach Gilbert Marabana na mag-focus sila sa rebounding dahil kanina pa sila nagsustruggle dito. Hustle and box out. Important na we get those 50-50 balls in this overtime. Ang paulit-ulit naman na reminder ni Coach Olsen is to dig deep. Bumanap kayo ng paraan dahil kailangan natin makuha tong game na to. Kahit tama o mali yung tawag ng ref, tuloy lang yung sistema natin. For both teams, na-emphasize ng coaches na get the rebound and will win this. Abangan natin kung sino ang mananaeg in this quarter. Back to you, Prince and Martin. Thank you, Mikai. Well, both coaches addressing the main problems here. Rebounding has been suspect oh. for LPU. Ngayong araw na to, di pa rin nila nasusolusyonan dito sa nasa overtime yeah. na tayo. And for perpetual, for Coach O is trying to, or is leaving it up to his team yeah. to grow and figure oh. things out on their own dito sa mga huling minuto natin. Nahayaan ni Coach O si mga players niya to, to figure out on your own kung paano nyo i-handle tong pressure na to. Yeah. And magandang, magandang ano yan, challenge yan for, for the players. I don't know, they are a young team. So ma madami pa sila pagdadaanan this season and the upcoming season. Importante ito sa growth nitong uh, perpetual team na to. Pagaran misses yeah. on the first. And that has been one of the deficiencies or problems sa itong perpetual ngayong araw. Free throw shooting. One out of two for Pagaran. Perpetual as a team. 17 out of 31. Pagaran oh, now with 14. Three-point game, Villegas. Guadagna. Maclod, he discarded. Guadagna will back Ooh. up. He will make his move. Bounce pass. Ah, four four to shoot. Nakawala si yeah. Berzosa. Follow on the floor. Two shots for Berzosa. So J.N. Berzosa will be tested at the free throw line. It is his third trip to the line today. He's been struggling. Struggling. Three throws. Only one out of four. Then Big free throws coming up. Mm. Missing on the first. But the LPU struggled in Salina. 50%. Ah, uh, yeah. And you see the Alta Spurb squad. Trying <laughs> to distract. <laughs> it, it works. It works. <laughs> that guy's hyped up. <laughs> Brizosa now one out of six from the line. Oh, oh inside pass. Uy. Ding alam na tapos si Nunez. Forward oh, pass. Bad pass. By Manuel. You have the numbers. But Perpetual will wait. Trying to waste time. They'll send it out. Goho Cruz, ilalapit, extra pass, oh! extra pass again for Nunez! I love it! I love the unselfishness for the Perpetual Altas. Beautifully done by the Altas and that stretches the lead. Back up to five. 29 assists now for Perpetual. Yeah. Guadagna sends it out. Sailig. Guadagna. Guadagna lost it! Good D. Pero oh. mananapili sa LPU. Same ball? Yeah. Okay. What a game. So far. <clears throat> 78 83. Of the inbound. Wadanya for three. Wow! Where is it? From long distance. Nine points now for Guadagna. Three of 17. Pero yung dalawang field goal doon, very crucial for Guadagna. They're now showing a 2-3 zone. Final two minutes. Manuel. Manuel couldn't buy a basket. And LPU gets oh, it. Oh, but pass. Pagaran gets it back. That's the second time yung ganong pasa ng Lyceum. First one coming from Barba, yung bailout pass niya na steal. And ngayon naman si Guadagna. Look at this, Maclod. 
from way out. Big time hit for Maklod Guadagna. He makes it a two point game. He's cramping up. Yeah, Manuel is getting checked here. Getting stretched out. It's been a tiring game. Mula sa magkabi ng panig natin. Pressure packed game. Ito sa matchup natin ng LPU at Perpetual. Manuel is limping to the bench. Let's go, Let's go. Let's go. Look at the, <laughs> how they are distracting. <laughs> JM Versosa. Ayan o. Oh. Ito yung example ng... Uh, ano si Dailig yung inaano nila doon, dinidistract. Kung merong The Wall yung... Uh, Uh -oh. Clippers, Clippers Arena. Uh -oh. Ito yung the wall natin sa Finn Oil. <laughs> Team Airport. <laughs> Dumaan na naman. Go Bruce. Ah. Bad foul. Villegas committing the foul. And that's crucial. Both teams in the penalty already. So, for Betwal, we'll shoot to and have a chance to extend this lead. Oh, crucial basket there. They go off rules. Another one coming up for the rookie. Hasn't been his day at all. But Goho Cruz has delivered when it mattered the most. Two for two for the rookie. Mahmoud Budanya. Budanya oh, lost turnover. it. He's looking for the foul. Yeah. No whistle. Ito na ang perpetual. Okay, perpetual, he's gonna execute here. Trying But if you're late, see, you need to get a stop. Yeah. It is with Goho Cruz. Oh, Pagaran! Abyss! Oh, oh he's left! Nunez! No! Rebound put back from Pagaran! And Perpetual extends the lead to six. 87 to 81. Oh. Crucial put back coming from yeah. this Pagaran. He was having Coach Gilbert Nadula say. So he was asking for a travel to say Nadula. Yeah. Out muna tayo. Nabuo ang samahan ng NCAA at GMA noong 2020 sa kasagsagan ng COVID-19 pandemic kung kailan pinagbawal lahat ng face-to-face -face events. Ngunit kung ang ibang mga liga ay nagkansela ng kanilang mga season, itinuloy pa rin ang NCAA Season 96, Rise Up Stronger. Online, ginawa ang halos lahat ng mga sports events kasama na ang opening ceremony. We're back to the coverage. Scout Jose and Rosella is eye-to-eye -eye with Chris Pagaran, his team captain. Sending out some firm instructions and Pagaran looks like it worked. <laughs> Delivering in the clutch. Offensive rebound. Look at this. Nabiyayaan, di na binabani Chris Pagaran for a quick two. 87-81. By the way, 29 assists today wow. by the Perpetual Altas. This is the second highest from a team this season. Right behind the Benio Blazers. And then EAC Generals, rather, with 30 assists in game 45. So, ang pangalawa, previously was Arellano and Benito 28, na nagpasa na ng Perpetual oh. with 29. Meantime, 60 seconds remaining. LPU badly needs a basket. Renz Villegas will attack. Good Unable to hit to the left. And Perpetual can melt the clock. The Altus can avert disaster and avoid oh. another heartbreak but it's a poke another and a takeover. takeaway it's a foul Villegas is fouled and 
And we have a stoppage here. Villegas will head to the line for two. Another this is not yet over. over. Yeah. 20 second turnover. Oh, so. I can almost I feel yeah. how he's feeling there with the amount of emotions he showed in that sequence. Piti ba ito si Go Cruz after this game? Yeah. Dami niya mga lessons na makuha for sure this game. Learning game for Go Cruz. Spent much time as the point guard, which is not the position he's used to. Pero nag-step up itong room ni Coach Olsen. Pero nasa tamang guidance naman siya. Imagine, head coach mo, Coach Olsen na sell. Of course, the point guard too. One of the best all-time in Philippine basketball. Two for two for Villegas. So four-point game. Here's the inbound. Itata with Niburan. Oh! Almost a turnover. And Perpetual will wait. A six-second differential. Villegas is forced to give up the foul. Holy cow, number 20, Reza Villegas, penalty. Third foul on Reza Villegas. Yeah, no choice there for Reds. They're just hoping for Perpetual to miss. But in this sequence, Perpetual has made at least one yeah. in each trip. But it was Ibora, 50% from the line. We'll see. Ooh! Ooh. Crucial miss. May hope pa ang Lyceum. Another one though coming up for JP Boral. 18 points for Boral today. Pero mangyari, two possession game to. Yeah. Oh, Two misses. Both. Rebound. Goes to Villegas. And here comes LPU. Villegas. Rosana. They need a quick basket. Ah. McLeod forced it. That was a four shot there for McLeod. And wow. Goho Cruz will be fouled by the E-League. That is all she wrote in this one. Daile committing the foul. Great stop there for Perpetual yeah. for, for Pagaran. Not the best shot available for LPU as well. But they needed to take a quick shot, Prince. Because there are a lot of hours that are eh. And Go Cruz has oh. been a steady force from the line. So you can really blame McLeod then for taking that shot. Because yeah. eh, much needed na agad na tumira agad. Eh. That's right. Goho Cruz. Isa pa. Siyang na puntos. Two for two. And LPU. We'll go for one last attempt. Villegas misfires. And for Petwal. Survives in overtime. The Altas get an important win over the Pirates. The final score, 89 to 83. Yep. It is Perpetual solving the fourth quarter puzzle. Kailangan pa yeah. mag overtime para oh. manalo sila. They kept their composure sa dulo ng game. And yun naging struggle nila this season, pero this game pinakita nila na na trabaho na nila yun. 89-83 win. Sixth win of the season. Big win. For Perpetual. This is pain for LPU because...